The Black Knife armor is one of Elden Ring's endgame armor sets. It has an inherent effect that renders the wearer completely silent even while sprinting. It's fairly easy to get, assuming you have reached Ordina, the liturgical town. If you're at the town already, skip ahead to the location of the Black Knife armor timestamp in the video description. For everyone else, here is how to get both halves of the Halig Tree Secret Medallion and then reach Ordina. First things first, we'll need the two halves of the Halig Tree Secret Medallion. The right half can be obtained from Albus in the village of the Albanarx. This location can be reached by traveling northwest through the Lyurnia marshlands, starting from the last gear ruins site of grace. Head through the water and stick to the west. You should eventually find yourself traveling beneath the undercroft of a large jagged landmass. Find the stakes with bodies on display and you found the entrance to the village of the Albanarx. Albus is just slightly east of the site of Grace here, disguised as an inanimate object. You'll need to hit him once and only once to reveal his true form, then speak with him until he gives you the right half of the Halig Tree Secret Medallion. He should also give you a lead on the whereabouts of the medallion's left half. It's due west of the Last Gear Ruins, and the location you are looking for is the Lakeside Crystal Cave. Travel through the cave to reach the slumbering wolf shack where you'll find Albus's daughter, Latena the Albanarch. Speak with her and show her the right half of the medallion. She'll reveal that the left half was taken from her by a warrior to the far north in the mountaintops of the giants. Now to gain access to that region you'll need to acquire the rolled medallion. This medallion is given to you by Melina after you defeat the Omen King at the Elden Throne. To reach the Elden Throne, you'll first need to defeat Starscourge Radon in Kaelid and then make your way through the Royal Capital. Once you've managed to get the Rolled Medallion, you can head north into the mountaintops of the Giants. Starting from the Grand Lift of Rolled, it's a pretty straightforward journey up north to Castle Sol. You'll then need to battle your way through the castle and defeat the boss at the end to acquire the left half of the Halig Tree Secret Medallion. Now that we have both halves of the Halig Tree Secret Medallion, we can actually begin our journey to the Halig Tree. Start by returning to the Grand Lift of Rolled Site of Grace. Stand on top of the pedestal, but don't hoist the Ordinary Medallion. Instead, flip through the options to find and use the Hoist Secret Medallion option. This will take you to the hidden path to the Halig Tree. Now this path is actually a full-fledged explorable dungeon, but to reach the Halig Tree you can just take the very straightforward path through to emerge on the other side. Vision is heavily obscured on this side of the path and until you find a map fragment you are flying almost completely blind. Using the compass on your HUD, head almost directly north with a slight tilt towards the east. You should quickly reach the consecrated snowfield site of grace. From there you will want to head as directly north as you can manage, and you should be able to travel a pretty far distance without any obstacles. Eventually, a cluster of rocky formations that are directly in your path will become visible. Skirt around the right side to make a safe drop down to the ground below, then head northwest to find the inner consecrated snowfield site of grace a very short distance away. Visibility will clear up substantially when you move north from this site of grace. Head north and grab the map fragment for this area, then proceed to Ordena the liturgical town. From the Ordena Site of Grace, head to the north edge of the town to find a large ascending staircase. Beneath the staircase there are a couple of passages. 
In the smaller of the two, a Black Knife Assassin's corpse can be found with the armor set free for the taking. I would classify this armor set as medium weight, and its damage negation and resistance values seem pretty average when compared to similarly weighted armors. That being said, the main standout feature of this armor isn't its defense, it's that it silences movement while worn. Even sprinting at full speed, players wearing this armor will not make a sound, and here is an example of that. And this isn't just for flair. Instead of crouch walking up to PvE enemies, you can sprint up for the ambush without alerting them. Which makes this probably the best armor set for players who want to be extra stealthy. On top of that, the translucent cloak effect just looks really cool. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Friday, and a great weekend. And as always, thanks for watching.